interrupt our programming. This is a national emergency. Important instructions will follow. should remain open for emergency use. At 8.43 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Nora detected the launch of a single Russian missile. This missile is thought to be headed in the direction of Los Angeles, and it is thought to be carrying a nuclear warhead. The missile is expected to impact within less than 10 minutes. Although this missile is not likely to strike the San Francisco area, take the following actions. Gather enough food and supplies for 14 days, and seek a fallout shelter or basement. Fallout is a byproduct of nuclear explosions, and it can spread for hundreds of miles. Prolonged exposure to fallout will result in death. Take a battery-powered radio with you into the shelter. Tune to 770 AM for further information regarding this incoming attack during your stay in the shelter. Do not attempt to evacuate. It is too late to evacuate. Repeat, it is too late to evacuate. If you are on the road, pull over and seek shelter inside a building or any other substantial shelter. Otherwise, remain in your present location and prepare for impact. Do not attempt to seek loved ones or relatives. Repeat, do not attempt to seek loved ones or relatives. Stay where you are. In addition to the incoming nuclear missile, NORAD has detected the landing of Russian troops at the following locations, the island of Oahu, Port Townsend, Washington, Seattle, Washington, Tacoma, Washington, Westport, Washington, Astoria, Oregon, Portland, Oregon, Coos Bay, Oregon, Tillamook, Oregon, Crescent City, California, Eureka, California, San Francisco, California and San Diego, California. Along with these locations, Russian paratroopers have been spotted landing as far inland as This is an update to the previous alert. If you are more than a hundred miles from any of the previously mentioned cities, consider evacuating the area. Otherwise, remain in your home. It is too late to evacuate if you are within the 100-mile zone. Again, if you are more than 100 miles from any of the previously mentioned cities, consider evacuating. Otherwise, remain at your present location. FEMA is setting up evacuation centers in the following states, Montana, Wyoming, Colorado, New Mexico, and Texas, of which specific locations will be announced in a later broadcast. Shelter-in-place warning for the state of California. 
At 9.10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, a nuclear warhead struck the city of Los Angeles. At this time, radioactive particles jettisoned from the explosion are likely to begin falling in the surrounding area. Persons within a 300-mile radius of the Los Angeles area are required to take the following actions. Remain calm. Go indoors immediately, and stay indoors. Close all doors and windows. Turn off all heating, ventilation, and air conditioning systems, and close fireplaces. Seal cracks around doors and windows with tape or wet towels. It is also recommended that you seek the lowest part of your home or present location due to the present military situation, and to avoid radioactive fallout that may get through despite these procedures. Wait for an all-clear signal before leaving your shelter, or, if no all-clear signal has been announced, wait 14 days before leaving your shelter. If you are already in the process of evacuating, continue the evacuation process. The greater distance you can put between you and the approaching fallout will limit your exposure. Tune to 770 AM for further information regarding this alert, and for further instructions regarding the military situation in the United States. Please stand by for a message from the representative of the president. Ladies and gentlemen, I would say good evening, but the situation does not call for such niceties. I am here to inform you that it is with a heavy heart that I inform the American public that at 9.10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Los Angeles was reported to have been destroyed by a Russian missile, estimated to be in the range of 750 kilotons. The estimated death toll is expected to be in the millions. I suggest that we all pray for the citizens lost in this attack, and more importantly, we need to pray for the survivors. Despite this horrifying outcome, President Marin wishes to inform the American public that we have retaliated in kind. As I speak, one Minuteman 3 missile is on its way to St. Petersburg, and it may have already reached its target, if it has not already done so. I would stop the speech here, but I'm afraid this is more serious than the aftermath of a nuclear attack. Russian troops are, as you may now know, on American soil. Due to the urgency of the situation, President Marin has instructed me to order that all citizens outside of a 100-mile radius of the Pacific coastline are to evacuate immediately to states to the east, particularly if you are in states where Russian troops have landed. If you are inside the 100-mile radius, stay inside your home. Most importantly, President Marin is asking that all American citizens remain calm. Panic will only make the situation worse. However desperate the situation may seem right now, know that in the end, we will come back fighting, as one nation, and as one people. Thank you, and God bless. This has been a message from the representative of the president. We will now return to the emergency alert system. The California National Guard has announced that contraflow has been enacted in the state of California to accommodate the extra evacuees heading east to Nevada and Arizona via I-10, I-15, I-80 and I-8. Please note that traveling westbound is now impossible in all states on the Pacific coastline. The California National Guard is also requesting that citizens stay off the secondary roads and to allow for evacuees to yield to military traffic heading westbound. If you are inside the 100-mile zone, remain at home and shelter in place. It is too late to evacuate. Evacuating now could place you and your family at risk, and it will interfere with military operations. It is far safer to remain at home for the present unless instructed by the civil authorities in your This station is experiencing technical difficulties. Please tune to 530 AM. This station is experiencing technical difficulties. Please tune to 530.
Airstrikes are expected to be occurring in the San Francisco area in an attempt to hold back the Russian advance. If you are within the San Francisco area, take cover now. Move to the lowest floor of your home, or, if you do not have a basement, the most interior part of your residence. If you are outside, enter the nearest building. If you cannot find a building, lie down flat in the nearest ditch. This message is requested at the request of the city of Livermore. This is not a test. Russian paratroopers have been spotted landing outside the city of Livermore. It is only a matter of time before Russian troops enter the city. Take the following actions. Remain indoors on the lowest floor of your building. If you feel that you must do so, take up arms to protect yourself and your family. However, if you do not have any form of protection, and you are approached by a Russian soldier, keep your hands in the air and do not make any sudden movements. While this is not recommended, if you think you can evacuate out of the area safely, do so now. Otherwise, remain in your home. Move to the lowest floor of your home, or, if you do not have a basement, the most interior part of your residence. If you are outside, enter the nearest building. If you cannot find a building, lie down flat in the nearest ditch. Wait for an all-clear signal before exiting your...
Oops. <laughs> 